so excited for today because I'm celebrating two things. One is today is my happy birthday, happy birthday month, July, and I'm celebrating 37th year of my life here in Earth. <laughs> so, and the second one is today we are about to submit our form of intent to homeschool to the Board of Education. Where is I was telling to I was sharing the celebration today about my birthday and the submission of our form Intent to Homeschool Abigail at the Board of Education. So the requirements are very simple, right, boss? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Just uh, right there on the paper. Yeah, I'm gonna tell them. Anyway. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, actually it's very simple. We inquired, we've been preparing for homeschooling ever since Abigail, Abigail was born. Yes, and we talk about it, we plan about it, you know, before we get married, we talk things out, our plans for our, our marriage life, our parenting, you know, we already talk about the basic. So right now that Abigail is going to start her kindergarten this coming August, so what we did is to, of course, make a survey of all the things that we need to provide, the requirements that we need to, to submit to the Board of Education so that before August, we are already prepared. So one thing that I require is, of course, the high school diploma or GED of the parents or the parents who will teach the children or the kids. So on our case, since Joshua already finished his uh, bachelor's degree, degree and actually, yeah, the master's degree, so he already have his diploma for a bachelor's degree in human service and administration and he actually recently finished this uh, last June his master of degree so there's no problem with that and I actually before this month came I actually attended a school in adult education because my uh, requirements in the Philippines my diploma my college diploma is uh, you know just to make sure that they will recognize my education Though I already finished a bachelor's degree in the Philippines, I also underwent a adult education or a high school diploma. Oh my God! High school di diplomacy equivalent diploma, high school equivalency diploma, or through high set. Yeah. And so what I did is I underwent a study. It's like a six weeks study for me to have my high school diploma in the United States, which arrived last Saturday. Kasi natapos ko na yung course ko. So, this is it. Thank you, God. Because this is hard work. And for perseverance. That's... And then, the next one is the registration. So, we need to register her. So, we have this Tennessee Notice or Intent to Homeschool. Again. So, it's just very simple form. It's just one page. You just need to put the name of the child and the parents and also the subjects that we need to talk to Abigail so we will discuss about it so right now what we put is mathematics reading and writing arts and life skills and of course devotions and Bible this is a very important thing so we're done with this form and we just need to be teaching her four hours a day or 180 hours or 180 days per year in 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 so four hours in 180 days per year so union requirement and at the end of the school year we need to submit all the students um, schedules and like this her attendance so we need to provide all these at the end of the year but right now what we need to submit are the diploma and our certificate of immunization for Abigail because she needs to be, you know, immunized and vaccinated because it's also good for her health. So the diploma, the immunization, or the certificate of immunization that we got from the Department of Health. And we also had this, the Tennessee Notice or Intent to Homeschool, the form, which provided the details of the child and the parents and the subjects. And that's basically it. So what we need to do is to go to the board of education so let's go thank you okay we're ready be careful there's a car no there's no one yeah there's a mail run. run so we're heading to the board of education to submit a form for oh no homeschooling that's okay so we got the forms 
right, Babs? Are you excited? This is show. It's just routine. No, this is the first time we're going to do this, actually. This is the first time we're going to process the intent to homeschooling for Abigail. And we will be under independent homeschooler. Right, Babs? Oh, yeah. So that means that me and Joshua will be her primary teachers. Of course, Abigail have her different uh, instructor also, just like in ballet class. She had her recital. And one of the best thing is also she's part of the... Sunday school. Sunday school. So she can also interact with other kids and with other teachers or other adults. Yes, so we'll see you there. The one that we're going to talk with is the coordinator, the homeschooler coordinator, or the homeschooling uh, coordinator. Her name is Miss Jewel. Jewel. And Miss Ami. Jill. Huh? Jill. Miss Jill Faulkner and Miss Ami. So see you! Why <laughs> are you looking at this gravity? Oh, oh my goodness! Oh, it's gonna be yellow, right? Oh, traffic! Traffic people! That sounds like uh Coldplay. is that Coldplay? Yeah. I want to watch a Coldplay concert. Can we watch Coldplay concert first? Yeah. Okay. Can I have a serious chef? Oh there's a here now in Chester County Board of Education. So let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Tara, tara. Tara. Miss na tayo. Tara, tara. Yeah. So nandito na kami sa Department of Board of Education ng Chester County and we are just waiting for them to process the papers kasi we have an original of our diploma. Para naman, we have a copy of our own, so it's photocopy na lang nila. Right, Babs? So, yes. It's a little bit quiet here, so we don't need to talk so much louder. Be quiet, sabi nga. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mom. And that's it? Uh-huh. Thanks. Okay. Yeah. Thank Have a good day. Thank you. We're done, Rose. Thank, Thank you. Come on, let's go. <laughs> We're good, Rose. Yeah, that was not me. All set. We're good. That's it. That's so fast. We just need to follow through. Right, Babs? All the requirements. And here's the Chester County. Babs, let's have a recording here. <laughs> okay, when she does uh, four hours, 180 days. Yes, in a year. Yes. The whole school year. That's it. We need to go back here and submit all the attendance and record because we have a form also that we need to comply to them. And we need to teach her according to the subjects that we input in the form. 
what we, whatever we choose. Yeah, extracurricular activities too. Plus, also, we need to comply on what they said. It's very simple. You just need to comply. Keep records. Keep records. Yeah. Right. So, right. Yay! We're especially homeschooling parents. Have a good day. Right. <laughs>